Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our evening prayer time. Tonight, we're going to be praying through Psalm 24. And also, it is the first evening of our 10-day adventure in prayer, praying um, between Ascension and Pentecost, focused prayer for men and women, boys and girls, to turn to Jesus, to say yes to Jesus, to find their life in Jesus and it begins tonight. So before we do any of that we want to pause for a moment to give ourselves some time to catch our breath, to gather our thoughts and allow ourselves to become focused on the presence of God with us. So let's be still. Lord, gather together our scattered thoughts. Recenter us in you. Amen. And we light this candle as a reminder of Christ's presence with us. Now we began our um, journey through the Psalms before we really knew what our journey between Ascension and Pentecost was going to look like. But really, if you were going to pick a psalm to begin our uh, our 10 days of prayer uh, with its focus on people turning to Jesus, you really couldn't have picked a better psalm than Psalm 24. Um, psalm 24 um, declares that everything is the Lord's. Everything, the earth and all who are in it, all who live in it. And it reminds us uh, of God's passion for the people that we know and love. That, um, that God looks at uh, your colleagues and work and he says, they're mine. They're mine. You know, God looks at um, your, your grandkids uh, who aren't following Jesus and Jesus says, they're mine. I love them and they're mine. The earth is the Lord's and all who live in it. And so as we're praying tonight, we're really just praying um, that, that claim, that heart of God for those people, that they would turn and know that they're loved and know that they belong to God and find their identity there. It also talks about um, who can stand in the holy place, who can stand before God, um, one who has clean hands and a pure heart and that just reminds us of what Jesus has done for us. Jesus making us able to stand before a holy God because of his sacrifice. Um, and then it ends with this beautiful um, kind of royal image. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. And it's a, it's a picture of... A city that has been on lockdown. Uh, a city that has had its gates shut up uh, and no one can come in. And in this moment, uh, in verse 7 of Psalm 24, when it says, Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. This city that's doors have been fastened tightly is opening up its gates with joy to welcome in it's true king. Uh, and that's what we're praying for uh, men and women, and boys and girls in our lives. We're praying for those whose hearts have been closed up tightly. The doors have been shut. We're praying that those people would recognize with joy that their true king is coming and that they would throw open the gates 
of their lives and welcome King Jesus. So we're going to read Psalm 24 um, as our prayer and then we're just going to jump off from there. I'll just pray what's in my heart, what comes to my mind. You do the same. Uh, let's worship God and let's bring God our, our heart cries for those who we love and who God loves even more. Let's pray. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Saviour. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates, lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. We thank you, Lord, that you are glorious, that you are beautiful, that the majesty of your creation uh, just points to the beauty of the creator. We thank you, Lord, that you are strong and that you are mighty in battle. Lord, so many of us know what it means to have you fighting our battles for us, to have God on our side. Uh, but Lord, our hearts are breaking for those people in our lives who are in the midst of really difficult battles, really big struggles, and they don't know the experience of God at their side. They don't know the experience of the Lord, the mighty warrior, fighting for them. Lord, for one reason or another, we can shut up our hearts We can close them down, we can close in on ourselves, we can um, sometimes be so badly hurt as to not let anyone in. Or Lord, sometimes pride stops us from acknowledging that you are God. But Lord, we're praying tonight for the doors of people's hearts to be flung open to welcome you. Lord, we're thinking of people who have um, been asking questions through uh, through lockdown and through this experience of pandemic, asking questions about what life's really about, about um, what our priorities should really be. Lord, would they open the doors of their hearts with joy to let you in. And Lord, we want to call to mind specific people, people in each of our lives, work colleagues, uh, friends, relatives, those who need you, Jesus. Those um, maybe whose hearts have been closed up against you. I just call them to mind now. And Lord, we thank you uh, that the earth is yours and all who live in it, that those people who we're holding in mind right now, Lord, you look at them and say, I love them and they are mine. Lord, we long for them to turn to you. Lord, we thank you for that picture 
uh, in Revelation of Jesus. Uh, he says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. Lord, we are we're knocking on the door and I saying, come on, Lord. Come on, Lord, make yourself known to these people. Lord Jesus, would they hear you knocking on the doors of their hearts? Would they hear you saying, I love you. Let me come in. Now is the time. Now is the time to turn to me. Now is the time to let me do a work in your life. Now is the time to let me be the mighty warrior who fights your battles for you. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. And Lord, as we pray for them, we want to pray for ourselves. On this Ascension Day, when we remember um, how you told your disciples, how you told us to go into all the world and make disciples. Would you just make us better at that, God? Would you just make us, make us better examples of the love of Jesus? Help us to talk about Jesus in a way that is natural and normal and not um, awkward or artificial. And don't let us be timid either, God. We Sometimes we feel like there's been, there's been so much religion in our country that we don't want to talk about the gospel. So Lord, help us to find uh, the right words at the right time. May we not shy away. We love you, Jesus. We want to honour you, Jesus. And we want to see those that we care about come to you as well. Lord, these are the desires of your heart. Give us the same desires. Let us experience a tiny bit of the passion that you feel for those who don't yet know you. We pray together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace to you.